One thing hindi mo maiwasan sa computer is kailangan mo ng OS. And for most of us, that usually means Windows. Kung bibili ka ng Windows 10, ano yung kailangan mo malaman para hindi masayang pera mo? Pero bago nun, libre tong video na to, thanks to our sponsor. This video is brought to you by our shop, where we do crazy things like have no BS warranty, actually reply to our customers, no ghosting, and we try to stock cool, quality, uncommon items. Basically, everything we find annoying about other PC shops, we try to do the opposite. If you want to support us on this mission, you can buy from us. Our website has a complete list of our inventory. Imagine that, a complete stock list. Di mo na kailangan tanungin na nakita ko to sa website, available ba to? If it's there, we have it. Or you can join our YouTube membership and get cool perks as well. Link to our shop and the YouTube membership in the video description. Unang-una, hindi mo kailangan magbayad para gamitin yung Windows 10. Yung tawag sa unpaid version is unactivated. And then kung nagbayad ka for Windows, yun yung activated. Pero yung features ni activated at ni unactivated, basically pareho lang yun. Lahat ng mga features, utilities na nasa paid, activated version, nandun rin sa unactivated. So you don't need to pay to use Windows 10. Yung nagbabago lang is mostly cosmetic. Sa unactivated version, may watermark sa lower right hand ng screen, nakalagay, please activate Windows. So, kinukulit ka ni Windows. Pero, hindi na siya ganun kakulit. For those of us who've used older versions of Windows, like XP, Windows 7, yung mga ganyan, makulit talaga si Windows dun. Pero the latest version, Win 10, is very mild. Yun nga, may watermark sa lower right hand screen. Tinanggal rin yung option to change wallpaper from the desktop. Pero pwede mo pa rin palitan, pasok ka sa Windows Explorer, pili ka lang nung anong image gusto mo, right click, and then set as wallpaper, gagana pa yun. So from a utility or features point of view, there's really no difference between activated and unactivated. And walang problema yun. Basically, okay lang kay Microsoft na, sige, gamitin mo yung Win 10, unactivated. And you'll still have all of the same features as the activated version. Aside from cosmetic, one other feature that you don't get in the activated version is desktop sync. Sa desktop sync, for example, sinave mo na lahat ng layouts mo sa start menu, sa taskbar, and yung mga passwords mo. And because you have an account, you can log in in another version of Windows, tapos maglo-load up yung preferences mo. Lalabas doon yung passwords mo, yung layout mo for taskbar, and things like that. So if you're familiar with browsers, like Firefox also has this feature where your bookmarks are saved in a particular format. Log out, log back into another Firefox browser, and you can have your bookmarks saved just by logging in. Ganon si desktop sync. But to be honest, this is very minor, and I don't think a lot of users use this. And even if you do use it, Hindi naman siya end of the world na hindi ka maka desktop sync compared to the price of the activated version of Windows. So overall, feature rich pa rin si unactivated or yung libreng version ni Windows. We did have one report in the YouTube comments and yes, I do read most of the comments even though hindi na ako naka-reply sa lahat. Uh, Kwinento niya na nag apply siya for a job online ata tapos sabi ng company, Nakita namin, napansin namin, na-detect namin na unactivated yung Windows mo. Kailangan mo i-activate before you can continue with the application. To be honest, that was the first time na nakarinig ako nung ganun, but we asked a labor lawyer and sabi niya medyo mas nagiging commonplace na yun. Yung potential employer gusto manigurado na licensed yung Windows na gamit ng mga employee niya para lang iwas liability and things like that. So that might be one consideration why you might want to activate Windows. Hindi naman para sa features ni Windows, kasi lahat naman yun nandun sa unactivated version, but because your employer might require it. On a personal note, I think that's very draconian. Wala pang employer-employee relationship, pero sinasabi na sa'yo what you should have on your computer. Skinascan na yung personal computer mo and what software you're using. So on a personal level, I would never do that to our own employees. I think it's very intrusive. Pero yun yung mahirap sa mga big companies eh. Um, kailangan mo ng trabaho, malaki sila, so medyo binubuli ka nila. And, and personally, I'm against that, but apparently, mas nagiging uso yan ngayon. Number two, what version should you get? 32-bit or 64-bit? Yung 32-bit is supposed to run on 32-bit based PCs. And yung unang 32-bit based CPU, lumabas noong 1985. Yung first mainstream was the 386. So sobrang tagal na nun. 
Yung 64-bit na CPUs, lumabas initially for servers, mga late 90s, and medyo naging mainstream na in desktop CPUs in around the early 2000s. 2021 na po tayo ngayon, chances are very, very high na yung computer mo 64-bit based na yan. So, don't even think about it. The version that you want is 64-bit. Kung nagkamali ka na install mo yung 32-bit Windows on a 64-bit system, gagana ba yun? Yes, pero hindi siya ganun ka-efficient. So, mas mabilis tumakbo yung 64-bit version on 64-bit based systems. Pero tatakbo naman yung 32-bit. But there are inherent limitations in the 32-bit architecture. Number one being you only can install 4 gigabytes of RAM and things like that. So again, there's really no reason to think about it. Just get the 64-bit, tapos na yung kwento. Number three, what version should you get? Kasi sa bilang namin may anim na versions ni Windows 10. But you only really need to focus on two. Windows 10 Home is the sort of default Windows 10, and that's really good enough for most people. If you're at home, or even if you're a small business really, Win 10 Home will serve you fine. The other version you might want to consider is Windows 10 Pro. And this is really more for small businesses na naka network that need features that give security, network security, data security. So it comes with programs like BitLocker, Remote Access, which basically works like TeamView, and Win10 Pro gives you more device management options. Ito yung ginagamit ko sa bahay, Win10 Pro. Pero to be honest, dinownload ko lang siya and tinamad na ako magbago. So that's why I'm using it. Pero hindi ko man siya ginagamit even though I'm a small business owner. Hindi ko ginagamit sa shop yung hardware sugar. Really, Win10 Home has all of the features that you need. If you want a complete feature set of things that you'll probably never use, completionist ka lang, then yes, you can get Win10 Pro. The other four versions you'll probably never need, so daanan lang natin na mabilis. Windows 10 S is supposedly for education users, so it's a stripped down version para ma-install mo sa mga laptops na hindi ganun kabilis. So it's intended for subsidized educational devices like laptops, tablets, and things like that. You probably will never have to use this. Win10 Mobile is the mobile version of Win10. But again, the use case is very rare. For mobile, it's usually iOS or Android. Win10 Enterprise is like Windows 10 Pro, pero pang large businesses na. So again, focus on data security, managing different users, device management options, and things like that. Lastly is Win10 Mobile Enterprise. Never ko pato nagamit, never ko pato nakita. So the name implies what it's for. It is for businesses that have mobile requirements and they want to use the Windows architecture. Number four, how to buy Windows. When I say buy Windows, bibili ka lang ng CD key para ma-activate. Kasi yun nga, yung unactivated is the free version. Yung activated is may bayad na siya. Pero yung binibili mo lang talaga is yung code or yung CD key para ma-unlock or ma-activate yung Windows. There are different ways to buy the CD key. Pwede ka dumiretso sa Microsoft at bibili ka talaga, sigurado ka na legit yun, 100%. Problema, sobrang mahal nun. May customer kami, medyo matagal na 2019, hindi siya ganun ka-techy. Sabi niya sa amin, gusto ko orig yung Windows. So sabi namin, okay, but are you sure you want to buy from Microsoft? Kasi yung gusto niya, yung Win10 Pro, tapos yung cost nun at the time, 12,000 pesos kung galing mismo sa Microsoft. Pero yun nga, hindi siya ganun ka-techy, ayaw niya ng gulo, sabi lang niya, yeah, yeah, that's fine. So ako nahinayang naman ako kasi 12,000 pesos, isang GPU na yan, dalawang 32 gigabytes na yan ng RAM, lampas pa. There are better things that you can spend 12,000 pesos on for your computer. Pero siya naman yung customer, and siya naman ang babayad, so we went along with it. Pero yun nga, sobrang mahal usually kung bilhin mo yung CD key mo galing sa Microsoft. But there are many, many places online where you can buy Windows for much cheaper. Mga tipong 900 pesos, 350 pesos, mga ganun. Meron sa Lazada. We have a frequent sponsor dito sa Hardware Sugar na yun, yan yung business niya, nagbibenta ng CD keys. Pero hindi ko siya ginawang sponsor para sa video na to, para medyo objective naman siya. But yes, there are a lot of places online where you can get CD keys for cheap. Pero bakit ang mura nila? Yung iba medyo sketchy, yung iba legit naman, and I've outlined some of them in a previous video. Pero bakit ang mura nila? And the thing is, usually legit naman yung mga keys nila gagana. Pagpasok mo sa Windows 10 activation screen mo, gagana siya, no problem. Dahil hindi sila authorized resellers, hindi mo alam kung saan galing yan. Or ito yung tinatawag na gray market sellers. So saan ba galing to mga keys na to? 
it could be na bumili sila in a different region. Kasi depende sa location mo in the world, mas mura yung CD key mo para sa Windows. For example, medyo mahal sa States kasi afford naman ng mga tao. Dati sa China, sobrang mura lang nung legit Windows CD key na galing mismo sa Microsoft. So there are some regions that have cheaper prices and people buy there and then send the keys to these gray market sellers. Or it's possible na galing to sa illegal transactions. For example, may stolen credit cards. Ginamit yung stolen credit card para bumili ng legit key galing sa Microsoft. Tas yun, yan yung mga keys na binibenta. It's possible also na galing sa OEMs. Yung mga OEMs, big companies like Dell or HP, dami nila mga computers. So, ang dami nilang nakukuha na licenses from Microsoft. And dapat yung license na yun, dun lang sa OEM na yun. I-install nila sa computer nila. But for whatever reason, I'm not, I don't know where along the supply chain, yung OEM key na yun, made it out into the wild, made it into a third-party gray market seller, tas yun, yan na yung binibenta. Or sila mismo, yung legitimate owner na yun, ibibenta niya sa third-party gray market site, tas sila na magko-collect ng lahat ng mga keys na yun. So there are different reasons, some legit, some hindi, kung bakit sobrang mura ng mga keys galing sa third-party sites na to. But there are reputable third market sites, not just for mga CD keys ng Windows 10, pero sa iba't ibang software as well. Legit in the sense na gagana ka. Safety yung customer na bibili siya ng software key, gagana siya. I've used a service several times. Again, I won't mention it para hindi mabayas yung mga viewers. Pero every time na nagka-problema, sobrang bilis lang ng customer service. Pinasok ko yung CD key, hindi gumana. I go online, chat with them. One minute later, two minutes later, pinadala ko lang yung screenshot na hindi gumana. They'll send you a replacement key right away. So legit sila in the sense na di ka tatakasan. Um, kung magka-problema ka sa key mo, papalitan nila kaagad. I've also tried out keys from Lazada. In fairness, gumana naman lahat. Pero never ko pa nasubukan na yung mga Lazada sellers hindi pa gumana yung key and lalapit pa ako sa kanila. Yung nasubukan ko na na hindi gumana pero napalitan ka agad is a gray market seller online. And I'm very happy with their service and I use them frequently for my own personal use. Because yun nga, tiwala naman ako sa kanila na kung magka problema, sobrang bilis ng customer service nila na papalitan. Lastly, you can activate Windows using a crack or an activator. And ito talaga yung illegal. <laughs> Yung mga gray market sites are kind of borderline. They sort of violate the terms, but at the same time, Microsoft sort of really doesn't care. And even the license of Microsoft is very opaque. Sobrang ang gulo nung license ni Microsoft. Konting trivia, kung sobrang gulo nung contract mo and you're forced to sign it, wala kang say dun sa terms ng contract, we call it in the law a contract of adhesion. In very simple terms, you could argue na dahil sobrang complicated, I signed it even though I had no bargaining power in the contract. I could not change any of the terms. Contracts of adhesions are usually taken against the party who made the contract. In this case, Microsoft. Di ko sinasabi na illegal yung kontrata ni Microsoft or yung terms of use nila. But because their terms are a contract of adhesion, at the same time, they really don't care about enforcing the terms as long as you get a legit key and you activate Windows. They don't care how you got that key. Then, from a legal and moral perspective, to be honest, I'm not bothered by this gray market site. Pero itong crack or activator, yun talaga very clear na illegal um, to use. But I'll just mention it anyway. Usually, or dati, andalas na may crack version of Windows. This was much earlier on. Again, Windows XP, Windows 7. Di na siya ganun kadalas ngayon. But you can still find it online. You can download a cracked version of Windows. Crack meaning pag install mo, activated na siya. Di mo na kailangan magpasok ng CD key and you don't need to do anything else basically after installation. Yung problema dito, aside from the fact that it is pirated software, you don't know ano pang ibang nasama dun sa Windows mo. Baka may program that is saving your passwords. Uh, sinesave niya kung anong websites pinupuntahan mo. And alam ko, alam mo, anong mga websites na pinupuntahan mo. Uh, ayaw mo na malaman yun nung misis mo or nung parents mo. I mean, you know, we all have things that we would like to keep private and a lot of those things stay on your desktop. Credit card passwords, website surf history, and just really other things that it's your right to keep private. Yung problema, hindi mo nga alam if you're using a cracked version of Windows, baka may keystroke logger or a backdoor access or so many other things na 
may makapasok sa desktop mo and makuha niya yung mga items, masilip niya yung mga items na hindi dapat niya masilip. So, aside from the fact that pirated software is illegal, there is the fact that you also run the risk on your data security. Another option is to crack windows using activators like KMS Pico, that is the most popular version. So you get the unactivated version of Windows, download mo straight from the Microsoft website, so that is legal, legit, yan talaga yung Windows 10. And then you authenticate it or you force it to think na na-activate siya even though wala ka talagang CD key na pinasok. KMS Pico in particular, sinasabi niya na for educational purposes lang siya, di mo dapat gamitin as a substitute for a CD key. And I'm not telling you to use KMS Pico. I'm just saying that there are programs out there that can activate Windows without a CD key. Pero yun nga, yung unactivated version, yung free version, has all the features of the activated. So I really don't get what the big deal is na kailangan po dumaan sa KMS Pico or things like that. At the most, get a CD key from a gray market site if you do want to get activated. And of course, you can also get it straight from Microsoft if budget is not a consideration. There are free OS such as Linux and the uh, different desktops based on Linux. The problem is that there are games na Windows 10 lang. and even yung iOS sobrang behind the port of games. So if you're a gamer, there's really no choice but to go with Windows. If you're a business owner and you just need to surf and you just need web browsing, downloading, things like that, then perhaps you can get a free version of Linux and actually those are fun to play around with and we might do another video on that some other time. Pero sa ngayon, yan yung mga kailangan malaman kung bibili ka ng Windows 10. Thanks for watching. And thank you to our top fans, Asher Gate, Anima Mundi, Mark Anthony Palanya, Christian Espinosa, John Ruben Ocha, D. Fry Shon, ITX Addict. Your support literally makes the channel possible and for everyone else, please keep watching those ads. Thanks and stay safe.